a whole lot of love for the 2012 Kennedy Center honorees. Dustin Hoffman. I don't believe that if Dustin Hoffman hadn't yeah. done what he'd done in Hollywood, that I would even be standing here right now. Buddy Guy. The preeminent elder statesman of the blues. The way he plays is so spirited. David Letterman. Best living talk show host on earth. Natalia Makarova. She deserves it. Finally recognized. And Led years. Zeppelin. I feel like I've been training for this my whole life. A I night for the stars to salute the stars for their influence on American culture. The annual gala is the highlight of the Washington cultural scene. From the excitement here on the red carpet to the buzz backstage where an all-star cast makes this a night to remember. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> 2010 Kennedy Center honoree Robert De Niro on his pal Hoffman. Dustin is a world-class, spectacular, colossal pain in the ass. Who called the tribute an emotional journey. If you really do feel, finally, that maybe it is true that you've touched people in different ways. Guy got a heartfelt thanks, Mississippian to Mississippian. You found a new music that no one ever heard before. And you made a bridge from roots to rock and roll. It's a dream you can't dream of as on a farm in Louisiana and all these wonderful people looking at you saying you did something well enough for somebody to say you deserve this is unbelievable. Letterman, who is lauded by fellow funny men. Does he talk to you? Uh, since he stopped smoking cigars, we have nothing to say to each other at all. <laughs> and for them to devote this much of their life to something celebrating my life, uh, I never thought would happen, and I am deeply thankful. For Makarova, a performance saluting her roles in Giselle and Romeo and Juliet. Overwhelming, exciting, astonishing. Grand First finale flashback to the 70s. It was, it was brilliant. I mean, the whole show, the whole night. A Zeppelin tribute featuring the son of late drummer John Bonham. And it just kept building and building, and it was epic, but it was so moving. It was wonderful to watch how our, all our lives have developed from just wanting to do something in the first place. Watching that thing unfold this evening was quite something. Something these honorees say they didn't expect and will never forget. At the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C., I'm Tara Merchiner for CBS News.